What's up? I hope everybody's chilling. I hope everybody's just staying safe, staying indoors, staying light. It's light work season. Today we're looking at another video, another first impressions video at Call of Duty, Black Ops, Infinity, Ward, um, Avengers Part 2, Remix, Cold War, aka you don't know what is going on but you must know. Say no more. Let's get into the video. Thank you very much. So Infinity Ward actually called me. This, this is a very serious story. They called me and they were like, "Yo, like we, we've seen your immense and outstanding talents in Verdansk. Like you've dominated Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but we have a new game for you and we'd like you to test it out." I was like, "You know what? That's calm. Like uh, you guys are my guys in it. Like what well, geez and that, so I can help you out." So they sent me this exclusive. Nobody else has. It. If you check YouTube, you will not find it again. This, but don't check. Like I'm the only person that has it. This exclusive access, the actual like beta will be released tomorrow for every other person. So this is the only place you find it. I, I don't check. So now I'll be showing you guys like this exclusive live hustler preview that Infinity World personally they called me out and they were like, may I, may I help them with this video? Yes. So the thing about this being a beta game is that it is obviously not their final product, it is still a work in progress and they basically want us to test it and they want us to find bugs and issues with the games that with the game that they haven't found themselves, right? But that's the thing, the game is going to be out in like a month and the current state of the game right now, I, I really have mixed emotions about because obviously I do not hate the game like how it is right now. But it's not, I don't love it, right? Firstly, the mechanics, things like the slide, cancelling, the movements, they just feel a bit jerky, like it's not smooth. And personally, I feel like from a software perspective, that is not something that would take a long time to fix. And I'm sure they have or they are currently working on a fix for that. Because even from the alpha to the beta was a huge jump. Like the alpha was almost trash. Like it was just barely good. And the beta is a huge jump from that. So obviously the final game would be absolutely insane. But right now what we have in front of us is a half-baked game. Not half-baked, like three quarters baked. But it is exciting in some ways. And some other ways it's just like, I, you're just like, I hope this is not how it's actually going to be the final game. I hope you guys understand what I mean. So let me talk about the first thing. So the first thing which I'm a huge fan of, which I really appreciate that they've done, is that they've made the settings quite similar to that of Modern Warfare, which means that for people like me who have just started playing Call of Duty, we'll have a very easy transition from Modern Warfare to this game. And that means things like your sensitivity, Things like all your setting preferences from how you want your motion blur to your controller vibration, all of that you can easily transfer over to this game. And that is absolutely great. Another thing they've added, which is a huge deal, is something that PC players have always had for a while, which is basically being able to change your FOV, which is your field of view, I think, I hope. So basically what that is, is that you can see like, I'll show you on the screen, you can see like bigger parts of the map and that, Sometimes, you know, you look at PC players and like, oh, this guy, this guy's movement is so good or this guy threw the C4 so far, but sometimes it's just down to perspective and like being able to have that, being able to just slide from 80 to 120 is huge. Like PC players have always played around 110 and that gives them like the ability to see a lot more than console players. And now we have the opportunity to do that. So that's absolutely fantastic. And I'm all for that. So the next thing I like to talk about in this game are the new maps and personally I feel like maps are your personal preference like I can't tell you this map is better than that but one thing I can tell you is that they have taken like the graphics the textures of the maps to the next level they look better they most of them are bigger I played on three different maps and they were all like bigger in terms of um, size so that is a huge deal and I think that is going to be and I think with maps, it's just the fact that it's something refreshing, it's something new. Like this map in Angola, the desert, it just feels like there's a lot to explore. There's 
a lot of hiding spots there's a lot of things you can do with like camel so it's fun it's exciting and i i'm going to really enjoy like how they get to play around with that So the last thing, which is one of the most important things, is how are they going to integrate Warzone into this game? Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, there's going to be a new map and stuff like that, but no one really knows for sure. No one's 100% sure what is actually going to happen. And that is really weird because this game is going to come out in, what, a month and a half. And it's still all speculations. Like, no one knows for sure. And the thing is, can we really like just throw away the whole of Verdansk, like the whole map? And the thing about Verdansk is that although we know the ins and outs of Verdansk so well, like there's so many bunkers, there's so many tunnels that we haven't even explored. And that is a huge deal for me because I don't think they can just throw all these years and months of work away just because there's a new game, right? So I really don't know what's going to happen. I want to hear what you get like what do you guys actually think is going to happen because i don't I, like imagine the whole of your dance is just gone and you start learning a whole new map like i know it'd be funny it'd be exciting because like i'm tired of campers like the, people just know the map so well that they can just camp anywhere and just get and i'm also tired of like fighting in the same old places but is is it going to be what do you guys think like i just want to know what do you think is going to happen like just See what, what is it a new map? Just say in the comments. Yeah, use the comment section. Type down what you think in the comment section, and let's let's have a discussion. So yeah, that about rounds up this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. We hit 50 subscribers on this channel, and we're about to hit 100 followers on Twitter. So that's some madness. So yeah, stay light, stay safe, GGs, and thanks again. Safe.